Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks update video. Now in this video we're covering the update as of today which is 0.6.14. As always we'll go over the new features and changes that have been made and finally we'll test a few of them out here in the world of Stormworks. Now if you're enjoying this video comment below and if you'd like to see any of my future videos while you're there don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and remember to click the little bell icon to be notified any of my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So that all said, let's go ahead and get started with the update. So to start, the first feature the devs have added this week are a couple changes to the actual microprocessor editor. First, you now are able to actually drag and select a whole bunch of components and move them around and delete them as you feel fit. The second thing you can go ahead and do now is also go and undo and redo things in the microcontroller editor. This is something we couldn't do before and we could obviously do in the normal editor workbench. The second thing we can go ahead and do now is also go and copy, paste and cut pieces in our microcontroller to obviously new pieces and also to the existing microcontroller itself. Now the next thing the devs have gone ahead and changed is going to be the 32 channel composite write. They've gone ahead and actually got rid of the single one and they've just left the 32 write for numbers and on off signals. Now these can actually be configured to the number that you want. Uh, so you can always select 5, 10, as many as you want or as little as you want depending on what your need is for it. Now moving on to the next thing we have the three new instrument panels. The first type we have is going to be the new flip button. We also have the radio display and also the bar display. Now the radio display and the bar display instruments can be painted individually as you feel fit. So they have eight different segments or bars to it, which you can go and paint to your liking. So obviously these are gonna be quite useful for obviously painting batteries and doing battery, battery indicators on your creations here in Stormworks. Now the next thing the devs have gone ahead and added is the number to composite binary converter. This obviously converts a number input into a binary and therefore outputs it as on and off signals. We also have the composite binary to number converter, so completely the opposite of the before. Reads obviously on and off signals and then sends it out as a composite and encodes it in bits and number output. Pretty straightforward. Next thing we have is going to be the instrument panel component now passes through between different panels. This means you can now change them together so you no longer have to have so many different types of nodes on your microprocessor itself. So, so far quite a lot of changes to the microprocessor component itself and also to the panels themselves. Now. They've gone ahead and removed all the different types of arrow buttons that we have inside the panels itself. They've now condensed it into one single one where you can obviously just change the direction of it, going up, down, left and right and so on and so forth. They've also gone and taken away the seven segment advanced ones and condensed it into one single way when you have the option to now go ahead and select the different types. As you feel fit, you can obviously do a bit code, which is a number, or you can do a on and off there. And then moving on to the last features the devs have gone ahead and added this week is going to be with the composite read and the composite write microprocessor controllers themselves where you can now actually go ahead and choose your channel selector as a variable. This means you control the channel itself using a number input. This is pretty cool. Obviously, if you want to get in a little bit of advanced logic here, uh, you can obviously get into this and start controlling it using a number single. Whereas before we could only select it using the actual microprocessor in there and changing the number statically. So that's all for this week's update. If you want to see the full list of changes and fixes this week, make sure to check out the announcement in the Stormworks official Discord server. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it somewhat entertaining and informative as always. And we'll see you in the next one.